My beloved, I recognize you and understand the complexities of the challenges you've endured. Yet, now is the moment for you to embrace my gifts. Your experiences through every unexpected turn of your path have taught you immensely. Your bravery and persistence have glimmered even in the darkest hours. When unforeseen hardships befell you, recognize they were not due to your deeds. They were attempts by adversaries to weaken your spirit. Now look forward with hope, as the earth vibrates with the onset of new beginnings. The sprouting of new life is visible to you. Deep in your soul, embrace this certainty. This year promises a plentiful yield for you. The seeds you presumed lost have revived. They will come back to you, transformed into magnificent and genuine blessings, nourishing your spirit without bringing any grief. These gifts will be free of strife or difficulties. I have positioned you precisely where you can thrive. Remember, I guide you, and your sustenance is secured when you act benevolently towards others. Rely on me, yet be cautious in placing absolute trust in humans. Adhere to my teachings, discard skepticism and despair, and ascend with steadfast belief. Through belief, I am capable of creating marvels and miracles of immense scale. Believe and all becomes achievable. It materializes when viewed through the lens of belief. Yet understand, this isn't about chance or enchantment. I refer to my everlasting promise, one that invariably manifests at the perfect time, as per my plan. You yearn for change, success, and prosperity for your kin, alongside kindness, insight, and sincerity in their existence. You fervently wish for a transformation, and I assure you of my transformative power. I possess the ability to alter hearts and minds swiftly, but your faith is essential. You're venturing into new territories, which you'll soon experience. Leave behind the old and advance with faith. Embrace the blessings I present to you. The period of trials has ended. Your era has arrived. Today, I will perform wondrous acts in your and your family's lives. The closed door will not cause you anguish. Communicate with me. Affirm your beliefs. Write down your faith in this comforting message and accept this sacred encouragement from above. A closed door shouldn't lead to despair. A more magnificent portal will soon open, ushering in something even better. In the unseen realm, there's a spiritual contest for your life and faith. Numerous foes challenge your progress, assaulting you externally and internally unseen to you. I will send wise guides to aid you. Receive their advice humbly. Devote yourself to prayer and much will be unveiled. You will triumph in this conflict. Every hurdle will disintegrate. Indeed, I could rescue you instantly, but your appreciation for your faith, talents, and abilities is crucial. Understand that triumphs aren't solitary. If you disregard my word and abandon your faith, foes will overpower and shatter you. But you are destined for greatness. You will be a source of blessings for many. Your kin will gain in wisdom and modesty, flourishing in all aspects. Yet, we must journey together. Extend your hand to me. You're ready to rise to a spiritual plane where destinies unfold and lives are transformed. Abundant goodness awaits you today. Even as you hear this, solid foundations for your home are being laid, and future generations will reek an ease and follow me. Each will inherit a unique talent, a purpose, and a thirst for knowledge and readiness. Dream beyond your current vision, imagination, or belief. You and your family are destined for more than spiritual destitution, confusion, or a nomadic life burdened by depths. Realize this, my child, and heed my words. Learn to envision grander dreams. 
I will amplify your faith and prepare you to confidently welcome and manage these blessings that are already en route. In your moments of hardship, I will transform them into blessings, your sorrow into fortitude. Your suffering will vanish, and your heart will be mended with the affection I bestow upon you. I wish for you to sense my gentle caress in every place you find yourself. Amidst the hustle and bustle, pause briefly to accept this present I extend to you through faith. It will soothe your spirit and bring tranquility to your thoughts. I endow you with the strength to silence the tumultuous feelings that rage inside you. The unsettling news tires and weakens you. But remember, I am with you. This period of difficulty will fade, and a bright future awaits you under my benevolent gaze. No adversary can reduce the blessings I have declared for your life. I can transform adversity into fortune, scarcity into plenty, sickness into wellness. I possess this ability, and it is my wish for you to experience the miracles I have in store. My mission has been steadfast since the dawn of time. My purpose is to save, to bestow everlasting life, and to steer your path correctly. I am your path, your truth, your very existence. I am the answer and your haven. Hence I implore you with affection, cling to my vows. Do not let your attention wander to the falsehoods of this realm. It fills me with joy to observe your faith in me, disregarding the intimidations of agitators. They aim to disrupt your serenity, to clutter your mind with rage and bewilderment, erroneous notions, and misplaced sentiments. Their desire is to see you err, consumed by remorse, ultimately estranged from truth, love, and my company. Now that you are aware of their tactics, I trust your devotion to me will not permit anyone to lure you away from this sanctuary of profound affection and unparalleled love. You have withstood solitude and a lack of warmth, but now I embrace you, fortifying you with heavenly vigor and encouragement, for you are dearly treasured. In your fear, I heard your calls for assistance. You sought my powerful intervention, mistakenly believing I was wrathful and reluctant to help. Understand that you will always need me, even in times of abundance. Never disregard this fact. Remain vigilant as the foe aims to lull you into a false sense of security, to weaken your belief, disrupt your plans, and injure your soul. I am here to aid you in your current challenges. It grieves me to witness your anguish and despair. This is not what I desire for you. I do not wish for you to be tormented. Instead of dwelling on the same concerns, fretting and obsessing, cease. Entrust all those worries to me. If thoughts of defeat encroach upon your mind, reject their falsehood. With a mighty God as your ally, defeat is an impossibility. Should despondency attempt to invade your spirit, refuse it entry lest you commit a dire error. A believer in my might anticipating my blessings must not lose heart. If your zest for life wanes, lean on your faith. Your belief and service to the Almighty Sovereign God shall not go unrewarded. I will rejuvenate your spirit with divine affection and infuse you with a powerful desire to continue your struggle. Embrace the pledges I bestow upon your life. Seize these words I impart. Your adversaries demean you relentlessly, spewing falsehoods that you are unworthy of life. But you must cease heeding them. I desire for you to live fully, irrespective of your predicaments. Soon you will again savor, sense, and accept my blessings. Your current troubles will be resolved. If you have heeded my words thus far, it is not by chance. Affirm your belief and resolve to persevere against all challenges, cherishing me always. 
your future is poised for a positive transformation. I will intervene on your behalf in extraordinary ways. With your very eyes, you will witness solutions emerge for all that currently weighs you down. Do not emulate those who surrender to pessimism or the views of those mired in spiritual desolation. If these words resonate with you, it is because I have enlightened your mind and heart. You have matured. You are prepared. The gateway to change is about to open. I am not a figment of hopeful imagination. You are familiar with me. You know my essence. Do not question my words any longer. In every instance of hardship, I have been your savior with my caring embrace. I have given you life. Even when your past was scarred once saved by me, your present became brighter. Do not measure your worth by standards of a world enamored with image and enslaved by opinion. Comparing will only steal the gift of contentment I intend. Value is not found in acclaim and numbers, but character and wisdom. My acceptance is ceaseless. My delight overflows. You are already enough in my eyes. What the enemy means for evil will be repurposed for your gain. Hardships are serving a higher plan to spiritually position and strengthen you. The trials you now thank me for are those allowed to refine and shape you for the blessings to come. You have endured the fire and will now experience the fullness. The enemy will not prevail. I will use your past pain to help heal others and inspire hope. Your story showcases my redemptive power. You are an overcomer in the making. For now, stay focused on internal growth, not external factors you cannot control. Comparison and self-judgment will only feed feelings of failure. Measure progress by alignment with my will, not worldly methods. Your identity rests securely in belonging to me. You are forever safe in the shelter of my wing. I sing over you. I delight in you. You remain my masterpiece in progress. In stillness comes clarity and wise perspective. Anxiety blurs vision. Peace restores it. Inner alignments must precede outer change. As you yield daily to the sculpting of my hands, I will shape you into Christ's likeness. This lifelong process requires persistence in following my narrow path, not the crowded highways of culture. Stay near to me. If change comes, you don't understand. Trust my vision surpasses yours. I meticulously designed your life blueprint. Every experience serves a purpose. My plans to prosper you will not be thwarted. What I begin, I complete. I will open doors of destiny right on time. Wait patiently as I prepare you for each encounter and assignment. The next chapter awaits. The darkest night precedes the brightest dawn. Weeping whispers that joy is coming soon. This painful chapter is temporary, but spiritual growth is permanent. Courage was forged in your trials. Strength rose up from the ashes. You developed perseverance in the waiting times. Victory will be all the sweeter for having contended. My strength is perfected in your weakness. You are my hand-picked vessel through whom I will pour blessings. Your painful process of preparation is nearly complete. You will fulfill your purpose of profoundly impacting your family and community. As my ambassador, you will rebuild ruins, restore hope, and represent my heart. Your influence will far exceed your expectations. Many who discounted you will soon seek your wisdom. Those who minimized and wounded you will kneel in repentance, asking forgiveness for rejecting my call on your life. They laughed when you spoke of my plans, deeming them delusions, but revelations that vindicate and astound await. By honoring me amidst scorn, your courageous faith will inspire many. I am elevating you to new spheres of influence among kindred hearts where your gifts can fully thrive. I am your home, 
abide in my rest, provision, and peace that transcend circumstance. I will never leave or forsake you. No earthly gain compares to the comfort of my presence. You are forever safe and loved in me. Rather than chasing status and trophies that rust, passionately pursue my priorities and pleasures. Pour yourself out to serve with humility, not to be served with accolades. Leave reputation management to me. Walk in purity and let my holiness silence critics. My plans for you are good, not harm, to give you hope and abundance in every way. Stay strong when opposition abounds. The darkest night still holds the promise of sunrise soon. Victory requires persevering through the darkness. Keep declaring my promises until they manifest. Breakthrough is brewing. Your day is dawning. Align heart and mind in sole allegiance to me and my kingdom. Then outward opportunity will follow. Uphold truth but reject rigidity. Grant grace but maintain godly standards. Be in this world but not of it. Be a bridge builder, not a wall of division. Walk in wisdom and compassion. Set minds free with truth spoken in love. Fulfillment is found in pleasing God, not people. Seek to reflect me accurately and point people to purpose. Pour into individuals, not institutions. Major on the spiritual, not just the practical. Always love, listen, and lean into me. I will fill your mind with insight to address every challenge. Abide in the vine and you will bear lasting fruit. I know your secret tears. Those cried alone in darkness. I have heard every anguished prayer. Though you have sometimes felt forsaken, I have always been near. You will never walk alone. My intimate involvement in each day's details reflects my love for you. Your life matters profoundly to me. Look ahead with expectancy to all the good I have prepared. Anticipate adventure, for our journey together will span the earth and eternity. But also cultivate contentment, for true joy is found in our quiet moments too. Cherish this season of privacy and preparation, though progression feels slow. I am using it to develop you for more effective service. For now, rest in the knowledge I am very pleased with your persevering faith and steadfast love. Soon you will awaken to increased impact. Days of isolation will give way to meaningful contribution. But stay surrendered in each stage. Seek to become, not just do, as transformation precedes assignment. When the time is right, you will step into the plans I have prepared. Until then, let deep waters of wisdom well up from within. Your leadership will arise from who you are, not just what you know. Your influence will flow from the inside out. This time of obscurity and struggle is only a season, not your destiny. I am charting your course to a richer existence and meaningful work. The trials you have endured will unlock empathy. You could not obtain any other way. You will draw from your pain to pour hope into other broken hearts. The compassion birthed in your own valleys will become a well from which many will draw life. Thank me for the closed doors and delays that ushered you along this narrow path of dependence and spiritual growth. Though often difficult, it was designed ultimately for your benefit. I am growing character, wisdom, and strength in you that could not blossom any other way. You are becoming a mighty oak of righteousness, with deep roots and thick skin for the storms ahead. Yet your heart ever remains tender toward me. You have faced various trials and sought me in each one. Tests reveal areas needing my refinement. Though storms try you, they align you more closely with me. I use every experience to transform you into the beautiful masterpiece I envisioned you to be. Though the process is often painful, the end result will be worth it all. Stay the course. Finish the race. Keep your eyes on the eternal, not just the temporal. 
with me you have already overcome. No obstacle can ultimately impede my purposes for you. You will fulfill every promise in my perfect timing. Until then, rest in my love. Soon you will stand on the mountaintops and marvel at the way I led you through every valley along the way. The full mosaic of your life will reveal my majesty when one day you view it from heaven's perspective. For now, embrace the mystery of my ways past finding out. Understand I perform my best work in secret, not on center stage like man. Trust me even when you cannot trace my hand. Keep following in faith even when the way seems unclear. The path often passes through darkness, but joy comes in the morning. Weeping whispers that delight is coming soon. Each day presents new opportunities to demonstrate trust. As you rely on me through stormy seas and unpredictable changes, our bond grows deeper. I am always working to redeem what the enemy means for harm. Though his attacks are fierce, my purposes will prevail. Nothing can thwart my loving plans for you. Rest in my absolute faithfulness, beloved one. Pour out your heart to me. I care more than you know. Not one tear falls without my notice. I collect each one in my bottle, saving your hurts and recording your journey. My heart breaks with every injustice you have suffered. I mourn with you. But better days will come. Justice and joy will prevail. You have endured this difficult stretch with courage and grace. It has strengthened your spiritual muscles and deepened your roots of faith and perseverance. Like metal refined by fire, you are becoming more useful to me. The Holy Spirit is developing in you a greater capacity to contain more of my glory. Your trials have prepared you to rise higher. Promotion is coming. Keep standing through this night, for your new day is dawning. I have not forgotten you. Breakthrough is brewing. You are exactly where I want you in this moment. All is aligning for me to thrust you forward. Divine connections, resources, revelations, and open doors are imminent. What I open, no one can shut. Stay near to me. Resting in my presence daily, abide in the shelter of my wing. Then you will be prepared for each opportunity I send. Stay attuned to my timing and direction so you recognize each divine appointment. I am ordering your steps so you will encounter the right people at the right time to fulfill your purpose. You will look back on this season as essential groundwork for the greater impact and influence to come. Just as a beautiful tapestry begins with disjointed threads, so too your life's true design will one day make sense. You will see how every experience is intricately woven together for good, producing a priceless masterpiece displaying my grace and glory. Until then, trust the weaver and his wise, loving ways. Keep following me down the narrow road less traveled, it is hard but leads to life, not the wide, crowded path toward destruction. Many false guides shout loudest, but heed my gentle whisper. Though subtle, my voice holds the promise of peace. You discern truth by resonance in your spirit, not external performance. That inner witness is my spirit, guiding you into all truth. Stay ready, for I will soon present opportunities you have long awaited. But first take time to renew your mind, refocus your priorities, and reflect my heart. Meditate on my principles. Discard distractions that demand your time and energy, but yield little reward. Invest in the eternal instead of the temporary. Allow my pruning to prepare greater fruitfulness. As you yield to this refining process, you are gaining skill in hearing my voice and trusting my ways. You know wisdom calls gently while foolishness demands compliance and crouches at every door. 
Choose well when facing daily decisions. Seek my heart before your own. I will guide your steps on the optimal path of purpose I have prepared. You will grow tall, sink deep roots, and bear much fruit that nourishes many. But stay dependent on my reign. Abide in my healing light. I will make you thrive, not just survive. I break off dead branches so new ones can grow. I will gently prune away weights holding you down. I craft beauty from brokenness. You are my beloved masterpiece in the process. The completed, you shall be magnificent. But you must hold on. Let the potter shape the clay. The way may seem long and tiring, but don't give up now when you're so close to breakthrough. The very breakthrough you've prayed for that seemed hopeless is just ahead now. But you must keep believing, even when forward progress stalls even when energy wanes and doubts arise, when it feels like you've taken steps backward, when you desperately need rest but can't pause the journey. Hold tightly to me, your source of strength. Take nourishment from my living word. Let me wash your wounds with gentle cleansing truth. Lean your full weight into my strong arms, able to bear you over this final hill. My beloved child, I know at times you feel tossed about on a restless sea, wearied from paddling against the waves. But keep your eyes fixed on me, your anchor of hope. I will bring you to safe harbor in my perfect timing. What the enemy means for harm, I will use for your good. In the trials, you are becoming more like me, compassionate, courageous, and patient. My son endured Calvary's cross before receiving his crown of glory. I refined and prepared Joseph in prison before exalting him to the palace. Their trials were temporary, but the godly character gained was eternal. This is my purpose for you. Stay faithful when the way seems long and difficult. Keep walking forward, even when you do not yet see what I see ahead. Hold on when the winds howl fiercely against you. Anchor deep in me. Allow these trials to shape you into the overcomer I created you to be. That is my loving desire, for your present struggle will lead to great strength and wisdom, valuable to you and others. But you must persevere. My plans for you extend beyond this season of hardship. I know the great potential within you, but also understand your weaknesses and limitations. I am pleased with your sincere faith, not your flawless performance. All fall short of perfection. So reject false standards of comparison and condemnation. The voices that shame and accuse you do not come from me. My spirit brings gentle conviction that leads to hope and freedom. Let go of unrealistic expectations that trap you in endless cycles of failure, guilt and striving. Come sit with me in grace. You compare yourself to others and forget that each person's path is uniquely tailored to shape their growth. Comparing your story to someone else's is unwise. Be patient. Learn the lessons I am teaching you right now. Allow me to write your story, one day at a time. It will unfold beautifully as you yield to my wisdom and timing. For now, rest in my unconditional love. I know the desires of your heart, what you hope and long for. I place them there. It makes me smile to see you delight in my gifts, dreaming of how to use them for good. But some dreams are for a future season. Their fulfillment is not yet for today. Do not worry, I have all things safely in hand. What I start, I finish. No good thing will I withhold from you. But you must trust my timing and process. Children must wait many years before they are fully mature and prepared for future responsibilities. But no loving parent forgets or disregards their child's hopes and dreams. At the proper time, when the foundations are firmly laid, I will begin construction and bring those good desires to reality. 
The greater the building, the deeper its foundations must be. But my living word reminds you that I work unseen much of the time. My child, I have been actively at work within you, equipping, preparing, and shaping your inner life, though you could not perceive it. Now the time of visible manifestation nears. The old will be cleared away and my promised new building will rise in due time. Be faithful. I remain so pleased and proud of you. Though you may see only problems and feel inadequate, I see your heart sincerely turned toward me. I see your patient endurance through difficulties and willingness to serve me. These are precious to me. I see you through ease of grace, mercy and compassion. My beloved child created in my very image. Do not believe the lies that you are worthless. My spirit assures you of your true identity. You are my priceless treasure. You have a profound purpose. Your unique personality and gifts delight me. Walk forward with confidence in who I made you to be. Listen less to those negative inner voices. I know they echo deep wounds, past stumbles and disappointments, but refuse to let your past define your future. Take those thoughts captive. Sort through them. Release what is false. Receive my healing truth. Let me speak to you now with my loving and empowering voice. You feel alone, but I am constantly with you, surrounding you with my light. You feel inadequate, but my spirit's power and gifts reside within you. You feel worthless, but I paid the ultimate price to redeem you. You feel hopeless, but I hold your future, and it is very good. You feel powerless, but I am Almighty God and nothing is impossible for me. My beloved child, do not despair that the waiting stretches long. I know your sincerest hopes and dreams, and delight to fulfill them in my time. Until then, I am with you. When the path seems lonely, take my hand and walk with me. I will lift your weariness and infuse you with patient perseverance for the journey ahead. We will walk together side by side. You are not alone. When you feel afraid, anxious, or disheartened, lean into my embrace and rest. Listen closely, and you will hear my heartbeat of love for you. I will drive out fear with my perfect love. Be still and know that I am God. I am in control. I am working beautifully in and through you. When you grow tired from the battles, come away with me to a quiet place. In my presence is fullness of joy and restoration of the soul. Drink deeply from the well of living waters I freely give. You will go out with renewed strength for the tasks ahead. Victory is assured when you abide in me. Do not worry about what tomorrow may hold. Sufficient for today are the challenges at hand. Stay focused on me, my love, my leading, my empowering. Fear traps you in imagined futures that may never come. Faith positions you in each present moment to see my hand at work. Lift up your eyes anew each day. There will be beauty if you look through my lens of love. Walk forward with expectancy. Anticipate opportunities to trust me, to rest in me, to shine my light into darkened places. You are exactly where I plan for this moment. More will be revealed soon. But for now, breathe deep my peace. Listen for my gentle whisper. Hold my hand in childlike faith. This is enough for today. Together we will finish this race. My purpose for you will be fulfilled. Our journey continues. Explore our new channel, Prayer Helps, for daily Christian inspiration, prayers and devotions. We aim to uplift and inspire you daily. Visit the link to discover more.